Good evening. Um, yeah, it's a lot later in the day than my last video. So if you have seen my previous video, I unbagged the glam bag. I did that this morning and things kind of happened and I haven't really done much more to be honest. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's not great, is it? So, um, yeah, so I'm now getting around to doing the February Eclipsey Boxy Charm by Itsy. So that's this box here. So quick summary. So with this box, this is the middle tier box. It costs $27.99 plus the handling fee of $1.99. So we just call it $30, which is about four, which is about £25 in in English money, sterling, British pound. So £25. In this box you get five full sized items and of those five items we get to pick three items um, from um, a list of choices that we were presented with at the beginning of February. So usually on the first day of the month you can make your choices. The choices are um, are made up between the 1st of February or 1st of the month and the 3rd. So we'll be making our March choices between the 1st and the 3rd of March. But you know I'm going to be on my phone making my choices as soon as they come up on on Friday which will be the 1st of March so you get five items and through them you should pick and two of the items ipsy pick um, based on your profile loosely and I say that loosely so that's a $30 but you can also if you want you can um, opt to buy a beauty boost now the beauty boost is an additional item which you will get in the in the Boxy charm box it will have a value of at least forty dollars and you're paying fifteen dollars for that product previously when we still had boxy charm and ipsy the beauty boost was just one item and you could it could be whatever you're going to get that month but now they have a sort of um they have a main product which will be the beauty boost which they'll choose but now they also have some alternate options so if you don't want the default item which Ipsy picked you can pick something else so for example last month so for the January box the default item was a first aid beauty I can't remember what it was it was either a serum or a toner I didn't particularly want that so I decided to choose um, a product it was a K beauty product with like a holiday kit from Femu um, and it consisted of a deluxe sized um, moisturizer a vitamin C serum and a refiner which is a toner and that's what I have been using for literally for the last month it's lasted me the month and I tell you what it doesn't look much because there's such little item and you think oh these aren't going to last more than two weeks but I've been using them twice a day for the last month and I absolutely love the products the moisturizer is near enough finished I'm probably going to get a little bit more out of it tonight and then that's it it's finished but it has lasted me the month there's still some serum left still some toner left and I would love to buy those products full size but they cost a lot they cost a lot so um i'm going to pick them up if they're if they're available on friday when i do my choices on for my boxy charm for march i'm going to pick it up in the shop because i think they're selling it in the shop for 30 dollars. but i've really enjoyed using that little item it's just it's just gorgeous so the boost item is something that is an optional item 15 dollars but you're paying for it um, so that will bring up your whole box for $45 and that's what I am I do always get the boost item so I should have it in here and if I remember correctly I think the boost item for this month was a Kate Somerville product I think it was something's telling me that it was a Kate Somerville product but hey let's go ahead and see what I got in my boxy charm for Ipsy if you're wondering about my face it's because I applied I did no makeup this morning so when I did my glam bag video I literally just had um sort of washed my face and what did I do I put a toner on and that was it so in the glam bag I received an eyeshadow palette so that's what I've got on my eyes I received a, a, a lip oil which I've got on and I also received a primer which I've got on and I probably need to put some more on 
since then I put on color corrector I, I literally just put that on because I thought right I'm sure I've got a, excuse me I'm sure I've got a foundation over my boxy charm or my icon box so I've put some color corrector on because my skin is you know I've got some dark coloring so I've got that on um and yeah let's go ahead and see it so yeah my face is looking a hot mess but it is what it is you know what I mean okay in my glam bag I didn't have a card it's probably a card in the box from um, ship it to because sometimes they take the items out and they don't put them back but the so I didn't know what the theme was for the month but the theme here is it's a self-love affair so with the box of charm by Ipsy we do get this kind of little sort of I don't know pamphlet you call it sort of a paper thing and it'll have sort of details of some of the products that you could get inside your boxy charm and it talks about things that are upcoming in Ipsy so here it's saying it's a self-love affair so it says here roses are red violets are blue it's the month of love and we say you do you you do you boo um sleep in for an extra hour take yourself on a date spoil yourself be a beauty you've been coveting do whatever makes you feel unapologetically yourself because after all you're you're the love of your life okay fair enough and then they've got a couple of items here so they're saying here we don't gatekeep so scoop up on major savings every day always at least 30 percent off and limited edition limited edition drops like the key soul care capsule in our Ipsy shop yeah they do sort of provide a lot of big branded products and sometimes you can get them on really good offers so like if you like the key soul care i know they've had a lot of the key soul care which is um what's her name i can't remember her name so this is brain fog what's her name again the singer pianist alicia keys <sighs> yeah um this is her brand a lot of celebrities have got skincare beauty brands now so this is her brand and then what's it got here get to know your pics so you can scan here maybe get some information there and in february in america it's also black history month so they did feature quite a few brands that were black owned right now let's have a go let's see what else is in here okay so there's a palette which um, I know this is the eyeshadow palette that um, hopefully I've got inside my box. I'm pretty certain I have got it. It's the Ace Beauty palette, so I'm hoping to have had that. Um, it's just some of the spoilers of some of the products that have been there. So that's Ace Beauty. That's a Grown Alchemist product. So I recognise the tube. Um, you've got a Malin and Goet serum of some sort. Looks like oh, that was a, a Mac um, dry shampoo mascara. That was one of the choices. I didn't pick it. Very weird product. I don't know if I picked it as an add-on, but yeah. And then they've got some of the information about some of the brands they've got, which are black-owned for the Black History Month. Um, yeah. And then they're crushing hard. So I think they're talking about things that might be coming up in the Ipsy shop here. So it looks like you've got a bit of Bobby Brown coming soon. So that's kind of cool. So yeah. And then they talk about the icon box, who the curator is Gwen... What's her name again? Gwen Stefani, is it? No doubt. Yeah, so let's go. Let's do my box. Right. I'm going to get the yap up. Okay, so the first product they've given me to look at, I'm just going to take things out, is I've got the eyeshadow palette and it's from Ace Beauty Mystic Romance Eyeshadow Palette. So remember, it's all full-size items. So Ace Beauty is a black-owned brand. I think they're... I can't remember. I can't remember if they're Latin American. I can't remember. So Ace Beauty Mystic Romance Eyeshadow Palette. Um, value is $39. Product type eyeshadow palette. It's, it is your makeup makeup routine in need so is your makeup routine in need of a little romance this gorgeous gorgeous palette is full of the most enchanting shades think shimmery mauve a deep cranberry and even a golden shimmer so those are my kind of colors to help you create eye looks for everything from brunch to date night okay so this is a palette this is the first product that ipsy chose for me so if you remember there's two items that they picked for me and they knew me to go for the eyeshadow palettes. So let's have a look at this. I've got eyeshadow on already. That's from the Pear Nova palette that was in my glam bag. So this is what this looks like. And then the colours. Yeah, these are my colours. 
these are my kind of colours. Right, so you know I'll be rocking this palette for the next month. Oh, look at those colours. That is me all over. Yes, 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 and yes. I'll swatch some of the colours. I've got this big old cardigan on today. I'm just feeling cold, and I'm normally not cold. I'm normally always way too hot. I'm a little bit shiny, but as I said, I've been wearing this for a few hours now. So, okay, let's do some swatching. So this colour looks white in the camera, but it's actually more of a, a creamy beige, but let me swatch it. So, dry. Yeah, it's a very, very light colour, so I'm not quite sure how I'd use that colour. Probably very lightly under the brow. Um, oh, this looks interesting. It's like a shimmery orange colour. Looks very interesting. Let's try that. Feels, yeah, it feels like a shimmer. So let's do that here. Ooh, that's nice, an orangey colour. I haven't got many orangey colours. I have got um, a Beauty Bay palette. Is it Beauty Bay? Yeah, it's a Beauty Bay palette, which is like lots of oranges. But to be honest, I haven't really used it. And then this is another shimmery colour. That's what it looks like. Oh, this has got holographic shifts going on here, there. So you can see that it's shifting colour. So goldy yellow to orangey pinky. Let's put it on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's duochrome, definitely. Oh, we like that. We like that. Not sure how I'll wear it, but I don't care. I like the colour. Then we've got a typical dark brown colour here. I never do my swatches very well. So yeah, you've got good depth there. Because for me, an eyeshadow palette has to have depth. Um, I've got one more finger here. Let's do start on the second row. I feel like I've missed the colour. <laughs> right. Okay, so you can see that purple next to the dark brown. That's that sort of mauvey colour there. Right, um, let's do some of that. Let's do some of these, this colour here, see what this colour's like. So it's another shimmer colour, just want to see what it's like. It feels creamy. Oh, wow, it doesn't look like it's dark, but look at that colour. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, I want to try this one now. I'm liking these shimmer colours. They are surprisingly good. They're gorgeous. They are absolutely wicked. Loving those. So yes, this is a palette I am looking forward to playing with and you know I'm going to enjoy it. So that's my first product. $39. So I'm right in it first product of five so that's cool oh six really okay next product um is grown alchemist so that is let's have a look where are you uh, no, not in here so obviously Stackery, that's the company that does the shipping. They've moved it around, so it's, they've probably put it in the icon box. Let me just go and get it. Give me a sec. Right, it was actually in the box the whole time. It was just me being stupid. I took some things out of the box and didn't, I forgot that I took some stuff out of the box. So it was actually here the whole time. So this is an item from Grown Alchemist and it's a skin renewal day cream um, moisturizer. Oh, I could have put this on before I put the primer on, so I did have a day cream. So naturally advanced formulations to support your skin. This is a, this is biological beauty. Yeah, this is biological beauty. Let's open this up. Is it sealed? I'm marking up the box now. That's right. So this is what I like about the Growing Alchemist products. They always come in these sort of metallic metal tubes. Um, so that kind of helps in making sure you can get every single product out. Right, so what we got here. <clears throat> so you've got Growing Alchemist Skin Renewal Day Cream. 
it is $62. What I should say as well before I forget, if there's any products that I pull out of my um, American Beauty boxes and they're products that are sold here in the UK, what I tend to do is put a picture of the item, um, the store details and the price of it in the UK. So in the US this is $62. This is, I like this brand for skincare. I would never buy it because I'm never paying full price for these products. I literally just rely on Ipsy to provide these products for me and they always do they never let me down I always get it I'm never short of products basically um, but yeah if it was a case that I didn't spend money on Ipsy and I was going to start buying skincare brand this is probably a skincare brand I would pick up and buy all right, so $60, full size, it's a moisturiser. It says here, start your morning off right with this lightweight cream moisturiser. It's formulated with skin-loving ingredients like niacinamide, um, echinacea, and reishi, or reishi extract, spelt R-E-I-S-H-I, -E um, like reishi extract to help support and protect skin barrier function throughout the day. You'll be left with hydrated and nourished skin that's ready for anything, the day throws at you. In the morning, after apply serum, smooth the cream over your neck and decolletage. Um, yeah, cool. Lots of positive um, reviews. So you've got 111,165 reviews here. That's in the last month. Um, lots of high scoring. Um, one sort of poor scoring here, just two out of five. Mid the metal mid the metal tubing is cringe reminds me of hair dye it smells like i don't know chemically like it's a tolerable scent but not a good one i guess like musky smell i wouldn't get it again okay well if your reviews are anything like how you've written your english then oh that was a bitchy comment wasn't it sorry um, but most of the reviews are pretty good. Uh, so it says 5 out of 5 here. So far I like this product. It is a thick consistency so it doesn't smoothly apply on my skin. Works good so far. Would recommend to try. Um, smells really good. My face was too sensitive for this product but it's great for the rest of my body and easily fits in my purse or car. Okay, it's fair enough. So it sounds like it's quite rich which might make me think that I may not want to use this then because I'm very oily skinned. I do tend to use water-based moisturisers during the day for myself and I'll use more richer ones at night time. So this is something I could use at night time, it sounds like. Have only used this for a few days. The fragrance is surely bland. Does leave a clean and fresh feeling though. Okay, I personally don't really like putting heavily fragranced things on my face. That's, that's a personal thing. So, you know, not a big deal. But yeah, most of the reviews here are 5 out of 5, so that's kind of cool. So that's another high value product in the box, so I'm quite pleased with that. Skincare and eyeshadow palette, all good. Um, I can't remember which shop online retailer sells Grown Alchemist. I think it's either Cult Beauty or Space NK. I'm not sure if Look Fantastic sells it. can't remember. can't remember. Right, let's move on. So that's the second item. So those are two items that were picked for me. And then it was my choices. I don't think the choices were that great for the Boxer Charm by Ipsy. I think I kind of struggled, if I remember correctly. So this is the first item that I picked. And it was from Luna Magic. And it was a two-piece brush set. Right, let's get the information up. Um, so value $24. This makeup brush. This brush duo is here to make sure your face is set, defined and ready to go. It features an angled brush to help you blend your blush in an upward angle for a lifted cheekbone look and a powder brush to help you flawlessly apply your face powder evenly. Okay, um, not sure if I'm going to keep it but those are what the brushes look like. I'm not going to take it out basically because as I said I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it but they look good enough. Um, I'm not sure on face brushes. I say that. I'm, I'm looking on my desk now. I'm definitely not sure on eyeshadow brushes. Mm, I've got quite a few sort of um, contour brushes, powder brushes in various sizes. I think I'm gonna put this in my next giveaway, possibly, or in a box for sale, because I haven't done a box for sale in ages. So this might go in a box for sale. So I'll put that aside. 
because I think I have started building up a box for sale already so yeah it might be the next item that goes in there yeah I think I've kind of decided that I'm not keeping that right the next item that I chose was from Mo Beauty and it was a divinely defined precise brow pencil and brush in dark brown okay well those are my colours dark brown I always go for dark brown what I found recently because I've got another brow pencil recently oh it's the one from elf and I was actually quite disappointed in it it was the new brow pencil that they've been sort of promoting by elf but it was very cool um, almost gray undertone and I don't like that I want a solid dark brown slightly neutral or even slightly warm but definitely not cool with a gray undertone so this is what this looks like I am going to put it on because I haven't got any brows on, even though it's evening and I'm not going anywhere. But I've got a half made up face here and I've gone the whole day with just my eyeshadow on. I must have been looking crazy. But then saying that though, I only, I've only had one sort of Teams conversation. Um, so it's not too bad. And it's a young lad, he, he didn't say anything. He probably thought, what the hell does she look like today? But yeah. He didn't say anything. Everything else has been email conversations. Right, let me just open this up. I'll be with you in a sec. Right, so what they say about the product. Um, whilst I'm doing this talk, you'll see me putting a product on up on the screen over here. So what they say about it, it's a full size item. It's $16, so it's a nice reusable price. Brow pencil. This magical eyebrow pencil and brush combo is your ticket to flawlessly shaped brows in seconds with a precision tip pencil you can easily define build and fill your brows to perfection how to use it brush your brows into place using the spoolie then use the pencil to define fill draw and build to your desired fitness finish by brushing through with the spoolie to blend okay All right. quite a few reviews um 2385 reviews the most recent review says two out of five i like a more refined line for my brows this was too thick Okay, um, she probably would appreciate the micro pencil. Um, this one says five out of five. I like using pencils to fill my fill in my brows, so do I. And then add a little brow powder to set in eyebrows. So I use a brow gel normally to fill in. This color is perfect for me. I also like the brush on the end of the pencil. This one gave four out of five. Color matched my brows perfectly, easy to use and looks great on. Okay, so that's the brow pencil. Right, so you can have a look at my brows. I like it. It's not hasn't got the cool undertone. It's actually perfect. It's neutral, perfect colour for me. Really like that. That's a nice product. Very happy with that. You can see how shiny I'm getting now. Oh Lord. Never mind. Right, let's crack on and I'll probably get the face powder out in a minute. Okay, so that was the second product that I picked. The third product that I picked was from Gloss Modern and this was a body lotion this matches a perfume i got from them let me bring you out a little bit this matches a perfume that i picked up from ipsy in the same fragrance um oh a few months back i can't remember but the perfume's beautiful it was like a small bottle it doesn't look like much and it comes in a roller ball but it's like a perfume oil very concentrated smells gorgeous on me it just works really well with my body chemistry it lasts all day so when I saw they got the body lotion I thought right pick that up because it's layered fragrance it's just a really womanly sensual it's just a grown-up smell not like that Barbie perfume which came in the glam bag this is a proper one so quite happy to receive this so I definitely picked that up when I saw it and how much is it? Full size, $38, but the perfume is really expensive as well. Um, full size body lotion. Elevate your body care game with this anti-aging body cream that, that's a must have for every skin type. Packed with concentrated goodness, it showers your skin with a divine hydration. Not only does it help minimise the appearance of fine lines while helping to increase firmness and elasticity, but it also smells divine. Think Mandarin, sea salt and rose. How to use it? Slather the lotion all over your clean body. Yeah, it sounds gorgeous. Oh, I'm so oily. I can actually feel the oil breaking out on my skin now. So I tell you what, that primer, it did it did well. Maybe it's because my heating's kicked in now in the house, so that's probably why I'm warming up. Um, but yeah, let's put some of this on. 
I did put the body lotion that I got in the glam bag earlier. Can't smell anything in my hands. So it's quite, it's not thick thick, but it's thicker than that body lotion that came in the glam bag. Let's do the fragrance. Oh yeah, I can smell it straight away. Yeah, I just really like this fragrance, even though it's got rose in it, and I don't normally like rose scented items, but the other items in it, it just works really well. Yeah, I just really like it. So happy with that, and that will just work beautifully with the perfume. God, my face. I can literally feel oil dripping down my face now. Maybe it's a hot flush. Oh God, maybe it's a hot flush. Wonderful. Right, you'll just see me, um, yeah, you're going to see me just break out in oil now, if it's a hot flush, which I think it is. <sighs> Gosh, yep, yeah, it's a hot flush. Okay, guys, just going to get a little, a little blotter going on here. Right, just trying to take some of that shine away from my forehead. Okay, let's let's continue before I start dripping. Okay, next item, which oh, I'm not quite sure why I picked this, but I did this as an add-on. So this was an add-on. Oh, should I show you my? Let me show you the beauty boost first, actually. Let's do the beauty boost. So the beauty boost, yeah, it was Kate Somerville, and this is. $78 value so remember I said the beauty boost it's got it's going to be $40 minimum usually a skincare item but occasionally we get some high-end eyeshadow palettes like one month we had a, a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette so you know usually good stuff we get in, in the beauty boost and it's worthwhile paying that extra $15 for in my opinion so this is from Kate Somerville and it's a Hydra Kate recharging serum with hyaluronic acid now if I remember correctly this is sold in quite a few online stores I don't know if it's sold in any retailers any shops any of the high-end department stores but I think it's about 60 odd pounds so it ain't cheap um, so why you love it inspired by Kate Kate's LA clinic um, micro channeling treatment and ideal for anyone looking for revived plump skin after a big week or late night out it contains aqua part technology that mimics what's that micro channeling to unlock water pathways what the hell are they talking about that deliver faster deeper and lasting hydration so it looks like it's an hydrating product that was a lot of words. Right, so the reviews are good. Four and a half out of five. 2,465 reviews. Um, the top reviews all given five out of five. Love this. I felt the hydration for the whole day. Wash my face and still notice results. Love, love, love this. Oh, wow. Next person says, it's amazing for dry patchy skin. Soaks in fast and keeps my skin glowing. Well, this is, sounds like it's really good for people who've got dry skin. Honey. Oh, this person's called Honey. <laughs> so it says, Kate always delivers. Love this hydrating serum. Applies nicely and feels smooth. My face is nice and soft. Um, one of my favourite brands and it feels wonderful. Very moisturising. Can't wait to see the rest of the results. Everyone's given it 5 out of 5. This person's given it 4 out of 5. So far, I am liking it. I haven't felt the need to go the extra mile to, to put what feels like 50 products on my face in the PM. Okay, all right but yeah very popular product let me open it up and see it must admit I don't think I'm going to be keeping this um because it's not the kind of product I normally use so that's what it looks like can you see that so the chances are I'm going to put this on eBay so if this I'm pretty certain this was like 60 odd pounds so whatever the price is retail I normally put it on eBay for half the price so if this is something that you're interested in look out on ebay for it because i'll be selling it for about 30 pounds yeah so yeah i i know i won't be keeping that because it's not the kind of product i use on my skin i kind of know what my skin likes now right okay let's continue so i think that was all of it was that all the products so five items so we had the Ace Beauty eyeshadow palette, which you know I kind of loved. We had the um, Grown Alchemist Day Cream, which 
I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or I might end up giving that to my sister because my sister's got dry skin so she might appreciate that. We got the brushes which I am not keeping. So those are either going to go in a giveaway or a beauty bundle, more likely in a beauty bundle. Um, we've got the brow pencil which I love and I've got on, works perfectly, my kind of colour, great undertone, really happy with that, so that's good. We've got the body moisturiser which I'm very happy with as well, it smells gorgeous, I can still smell it on my skin. It's just a very light fresh scent, love it, really smells nice. Um, and we're moving on to the add-ons now, so in add-ons um, I was starting to say about this so I bought the Olaplex I really like the Olaplex range I know some people say they don't like it and it's giving them hair damage but I firmly believe that they just they bought it because it's trendy and they didn't actually need it um, when you need a product that's when you use it you don't it's not something you use all the time you just use Olaplex range when you actually need it um, and I've got a couple of favorites in the range which I really really like this is a clarifying shampoo bond maintenance and I thought this would be good for sort of days um, when I do a wash day particularly when if I've had my hair in a protective style so basically I've been wearing a wig for a while or I've had my hair in crochet braids so I haven't washed my hair as frequently so this would be good to use um, as a shampoo then so when I, when I haven't washed my hair that regularly so that would be good I think it'd also be good to use for Kayla as well because Kayla sort of comes around occasionally for me to wash her hair to give it a really really good wash um, especially if she's gone swimming or anything like that so I could use this in her hair just to clarify her hair then I'd go in with a moisturising shampoo afterwards so I think this would be really good to use um, I'm going to be going next Tuesday to get my hair sort of washed and treated and stuff so I probably won't need it then but my daughter will be getting her hair coloured and everything again afterwards so she'll be getting a whole lot of stuff going on so when she goes to wash her hair after that treatment she can use this so for me this is like something to use when you haven't washed your hair for a long time or if you've had some sort of if you've done something to your hair sort of like a I don't know colouring particularly I think this is really good these are the kind of products that are good to go in to just to maintain your hair so it's bond maintenance clarifying shampoo again I will put the price of this product up on the screen but I know I want to pay more than $12 for that I'm very cheap when it comes to my um, add-ons the next product which I bought in add-ons I was just intrigued by it and I just had to buy it just to see had to buy it so this is a product that some people would have got in their boxes as the product picked for them by Ipsy. it's from gold fadden md so this is a british brand bloody expensive skincare brand absolutely ridiculously expensive um this product if you if i told you you're so not going to believe me it's 200 women I look at it here it's 200 and something dollars in the states yeah it's 235 dollars in the states yeah 235 dollars you heard that okay so we're looking at about what 170 odd quid if we go by that value here but I've seen it on sale here for over 300 pounds yeah I know pick yourself up off the ground so this product in the UK this is what it looks like it's sold for 300 odd pounds i don't care what kind of skincare unless it's going to make me look 20 years younger i don't think anything is worth that kind of money 300 pounds no you're going for a big ass treatment in the top salon somewhere you know what i mean go for a weekend somewhere for a beauty spa and you know, champagne all day have some beautiful English sparkling wine I'm saying that because I was talking about that with my friend yesterday but yeah this is really flipping expensive over here I think it was 330 pounds I saw it for over here so I picked up two of them <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on eBay but I'm not gonna put it on eBay for over 100 pounds I'm probably gonna start off at something like I don't know I'm going to see what other people are selling it for and then I'm going to gauge it but I'm going to sell it and 
make a bit of money on it because doing stuff like that it helps cover my shipping costs that's why I do stuff like that so yeah this is going on eBay I bought two of them so I think one I might keep because I want to see what the hype is and one I'll put on eBay we will see we will see so that's two of the add-ons I purchased and then what else did I get oh, that's it that was my add-ons yeah so I think my Boxy Charm by Ipsy box wasn't the most exciting but I'm happy with all the products that I picked and I'm intrigued by some of the add-ons particularly that gold fadden serum so look out for that on eBay. It'll be interesting to see. Um, I'm going to keep one, I think, and I'm going to sell one because I just want to see how, how fantastic this product is for 300 odd pounds over here. Crazy money, crazy money. Right, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad I've come back. So I've kind of got over my hump now. So I think I'm back in the filming videos again. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help to promote my channel. And I probably need that extra help now because I've been away for a couple of weeks. I won't be promoted on YouTube at all so by clicking on my clicking the like and subscribing it will help promote my channel all right thanks very much look out for a giveaway for March because I'll definitely be doing a giveaway for March and I think I'm definitely going to be selling a beauty bundle in March as well so do look out for those as well my next video will be my icon box unboxing and then I'm going to be doing a what's in my trash as well so that'll be by the end of the week or it will be sort of sometime in the first week of March all right so those will be the next couple of videos coming up um i didn't do a deguster box or treasure chest video this month because as i said i just wasn't in the mindset to to film so no treasure chest videos and no deguster box videos this month all right i hope that's all okay i'm glad i'm back thanks for supporting me thanks for people reaching out and just sending me encouraging comments i really 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 appreciate it so thanks guys i'm back take care see you soon bye